Hi everyone, welcome to the Ultimate Landing Page Tutorial. Um, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about you know, how to build a landing page that converts and helps reduce your cost per lead and increase your conversion rates. A landing page is just like this one. This is a landing page we use for our own brand. Um, we're gonna show you the softwares to use, the techniques to do, and how to build something that really helps grow your business. And if you stay to the end, we're gonna show you the exact form builder we use to generate those leads. Um, so we can just jump right in. So we use lead pages, and I'm gonna link below to a free trial for lead pages. And I think it's one of the best landing page softwares out there um, because it has great templates, it loads fast on mobile, um, and it's just always been one of my favorite options. So you're gonna go over here and just hit um, create new landing page. And it's gonna take you to a ton of templates, right? Um, and they don't have templates for every industry, but they have a lot of great service-based options. So if you're in the lead generation business, um, lead pages has a great options to start, to start off, right? So hit industry, Scroll down, they've got author, business, marketing, creative services, financial and legal. We're going to hit financial and legal. Um, and then, you know, we're going to utilize this format. This is, all, this is always a great format. Um, so we're going to hit start building. And so this is going to be for tax preparation, right? Um, but you can convert this to really anything. You can do legal, taxes, right? So we're going to put tax lead gen landing page and hit create. And it's going to show you exactly, um, you know, what they would build for a tax client. Um, and so a great landing page, number one, a landing page is different from a microsite. And a great landing page won't have menu bars. It won't have links to other websites, right? The whole purpose is you're either going to convert or you're going to leave. And that's what this does right away. So we've got a logo so the, the user knows exactly, you know, who they're interacting with. Um, they're going through the uh, a quick call to action, right, and a lead magnet. So get your free 30-minute tax prep consultation, pulls them in, and then has a get a free consultation right here. Um, so lead pages, again, it's great at giving you great formats, um, but this is a canvas. You, you're going to want to tweak this. If you make this launch this just the way it is, it's not going to seem authentic, right? So if we want to change the colors, go to this button. Um, go to customize button, um, and you can change this to a lot of different options. Right? I usually like green, and, or not green, I'm sorry, I usually like you know uh, orange or red as a good call to action button. It, it invokes action, and you'll see a lot of um, lead generation experts and marketing companies love using you know oranges and reds as a as a pop. You know, um, forget that free consultation, right? It really jumps out to you. Um, so we're gonna hit that. It hovers, it changes, it kind of shows an interaction. Um, and then we're going to hit click, uh, edit click event. So this is going to take you to a pop-up, right? Um, so we're hit edit click event and pop-up form, okay? Now we're going to go to edit pop-up form. And, you know, this is kind of where, you know, me and lead pages branch off, right? So lead pages has custom forms, which are great. They integrate with Zapier, right? But they're very simple, very basic, and you really can only add fields. So what I like to do is I like to build my own forms and then add them into this lead page pop-up utilizing an HTML. So you're gonna instead delete this and then you're gonna drop in an HTML. And at the end of the video, like I said, I'm gonna actually show you how to build these forms with my form builder that I utilize and it's a really easy integration. You pull that, you pull that data or you pull that HTML code, you drop it in here and then it's it's really fast loading, right? Um, but you know there's also other options. You don't have to have a button, right? Um, a lot of times you can just put a form right under here. And I'll show you that example as well. So when we scroll down here, um, you know, this is really important, right? So the first thing they're gonna see, hey, get your landing page, uh, or I'm sorry, <laughs> get your free consultation. Um, you know, here's a quick button. They're scrolling, they're trying to understand, you know, who is this? What am I really getting? What are the value prop, what's the value prop of this company? Um, and so that right after the hero image, you're gonna to wanna to have some sort of value proposition. Something that, you know, tells the user why pick us over our competitors, right? So they do it really, right here, so no risk, no false promises, no fees. So again, manipulate this for your brand. If you're a law firm, if you know, you're know you an HVAC company, like what is your traditional value prop? Are you Do you have lower costs? Do you have great customer service? Do you offer something free, right? Do you have you know, 300 five-star reviews? You know, this is where you're gonna wanna put this because again, you're putting yourself in the user's shoes. 
they're clicking on this ad, they're seeing your landing page, and they're trying to understand, okay, who are you? All right, I know what you want from me, but who are you? And that's where they get to this section. Again, you know, it's really important that you put value propositions that work. Um, then you're going to scroll down, and then again, it's this right here is showing the brand's authority, right? I've got 45 clients. I'm in 18 countries. I have 5,000 users and 270 projects. You're going to want to change this up, right? I think in its you know default form, it shows you the format, but you're going to need to change this, right? So, do you have you know 1,000 reviews? Change this. Um, you know, do you have you know 300 active clients. Um, you know, you can kind of go through what works for you. You know, have you, do you have 25 years of experience? So this is an opportunity for you to quickly show the user who you are, why you, but also like what authority do you have in the industry? Um, and, you know, a mix of value proposition and authority is vital to converting leads um, and showing them your worth, right, them filling out this form up here. Um, so then you scroll down and then a services, right? So this is the opportunity to tell them exactly what you do. And this helps push people away that are looking for something else, right? Um, say you're a law firm, but you only do um, – you know, personal injury, right? So in your services, put, hey, I, I help people with personal injury claims. Um, and put the services you have, and that way you know you're getting people that really need your service, right? Um, and then meet our team. Again, this shows more authority, right? If you have a team, great. If you're a solopreneur, um, you can delete this, right? Or you could just put, you know, meet the meet the business owner, meet the, you know, the CEO and, you know, maybe even put meet the leadership team. Just put you, maybe a little blurb of who you are, what you've been doing. But again, it can't be too long, right? This is supposed to be very quick. They say the um, average consumer has an eighth grade reading level. So you, when you're going through this, you want to make sure you're not putting, you know, very long copy, just really quick bullets so they can see it and move on. And then here at the very end, they scroll all the way through the page, boom, another call to action, right? Asking them, hey, do you want your free consultation? You've read through everything that we are. You know why us, our experience and our authority, our team members behind the scene, and then our services. Are you ready now? And often at this very end, they'll hit that button and a pop-up you know, comes up. Again, you can screw then some of them might scroll up to the original. So often I like to put a pop up. I like to put a little form down here so that it's a little bit different. It helps you test different variations of um of uh lead generation options, right? So maybe they don't like the pop up. Maybe they like the form that pulls in cookie data to put, you know, your name, your email address and, you know, all the other different form data points that you want to pull, right? Um another thing about this landing page I think I need to add is going to be uh, some sort of calling button, right? You're going to have a lot of people that click on mobile. Maybe you have older clients. They don't like filling out forms. They just want to call, you know, talk to this lawyer. So what you can do very quickly, hit duplicate, or you're going to move this um, right here. Okay. And we're going to add a spacer. Go hit widgets, hit spacer. Boom, drop the spacer in here. So that shortens it a little bit. Um, and then just put your number, right? So just whatever number you have, your primary sales number, um, you're going to put that here. You're going to copy that. And then you're going to edit click event. Um, and then you're going to hit pop up. Or no, not pop up. You're going to scroll down to link to external URL. And then there's a really easy, you know, um, code here where you put tell um, colon and then the number. And once you save that, anyone who clicks on this link will call will automatically dial the number. You just have to make sure that this number is the same as this number, right? And uh, and that will save, right? And so that again, it's another, it's a third type of call to action. You got your pop up, you've got your um, you know your call in number, and then at the very bottom you've got your maybe your more traditional form. And I'll and I'll put that in there as an example um, down the line. And so then you're going to want to preview this, right? So the lead pages is really great at showing you you know what this looks in computer form, um, what this looks in tablet form, and then what it looks like in mobile form. So yeah, maybe you want to center this. Maybe you want to you know figure out some a different way to format. 
that logo. Um, but other than that, you know, all of this looks really good, right? Pulls up, get in touch with the schedule of free consultation. Um, you scroll down, bring peace of mind. Everything is formatted quickly. Again, Lead Pages just does such a good job at automatically formatting this type of information um, for mobile. Maybe you look down here, okay, this maybe needs to be centered as well, right? So it's really important that you run through this and you QA your work, you know, before you just jump right in. Um, okay, so, you know, there's, and the one thing I, I did want to mention too is how do we tag these sites, right? How do we tag them with GTM um, so we can track conversions on our ad managers, right? So hit settings, um, hit analytics, and then you're going to drop your GTM code right here. So um, in the head section and then in the body section. And then that gives you the ability. And with lead pages, you know, you have, um, you have two options. You can create just raw landing pages or you can create a microsite and only post it um, on one part of the site, right? And then all landing pages will, will have the tags, right? But th then again, this is something that's really important and that you really need to figure out, you know, before you do launch on the landing page because you need to track your success and track your failures, right? Know, you know, are the forms converting and if they're not, what to do, right? And again, this is like a really quick tutorial on uh, on lead pages, right? There's a lot you can do with this. Um, but before I did hop off, I wanted to discuss how we build um, really great forms, right? This is a big thing in lead generation. You need a form builder that's going to build dynamic forms that load on mobile, but then can also import, you know, hidden fields for GCLED IDs and things like that. Um, so we're going to pull up my form builder. So I use something called Trepetto, you know, and Trepetto is interesting because you have to build out um, the free version and pay one time for a licensing fee. And that way you have this form forever, right? So it, it's a nice way to not have a monthly nut, right? But you have to be careful because you know, they can get pretty costly. Ten forms are $1,000, right? Um, so you want to make sure you're using these well. You build one really strong form that you can utilize in multiple areas of your website. But then you can streamline that and you know pour it all into the same CRM, um, and even though you have multiple touch points, right? So this example is going to be, it's an HVAC, it's an HX form that we use. Um, but we can manipulate this and change it, right? So um, we've got what type of work do you need done is the first question. It goes through, you know, types of boiler system, kind of location. Um, you know, we can edit this. Let's just say we want to, you know, create a brand new um, section here, right? So we're going to click this and we're going to say, you know, say this is for lawyers, right? I mean, I'm, this is kind of my, my example template form. Say, you know, you know, what type of service are you looking for? Then you have a, a few different options, right? Um, so you can put drop down, you can put, you know, personal injury. Um, you can do, you know, LLC in contracts. Um, you can put a lot of things, right? And so basically then the user will have the option to click here and, and decide and see, look, now it's showing multiple. So we got to change the type because that's not what we're looking for at this point. Um, we want to only show um, a, one selection at a time. So we're actually going to hit, we hit drip down, drop down multiple select. We're going to hit drop down single select. Um, and then now you can look at changes the format. Boom, submit. Um, so this gives you, you know, again, a lot of options. Play around with this format. Um, it's it's really helpful. You know, another thing that I love about Trepetto and building forms um, is that you actually can add um, hidden fields. And hidden fields are so vital to tracking, you know, analytic success, right? So if you're running this on Meta, on Google Ads, which is we're a Google Ad agency primarily, so we do a lot of that, you can import you know, is this a Florida campaign? Is it a broad match? Um, you know, what uh, keyword, what source? And then you can import, you know, GCLID information. And what GCLIDs are, basically every time someone searches an ad, there is a specific identifier that Google gives every click. And you can pull that in in a hidden field so that when that lead closes, you can now import that back into Google and say, hey, GCLID, you know, one, two, three, just converted. Give me more like this person. And, you know, I have a few videos on offline conversions, but the trick to offline conversions, it took me a few years to figure this out, is actually in the hidden fields in your forms. So that's really important that you can figure that out. And Trepetto is a great way to do this with ease, really, because then you can pull that in Zapier and put GCLID in CRM, and you can do a lot of really fun stuff there. Um, and then when you're actually 
exporting this data, just go to share, um, go to embed on a website, and then just hit copy clipboard, right? And that's the HTML that I was referencing earlier. So now you can go back to um, our form right here, or our lead pages form, and hit edit, edit pop-up, and then drop your information in right here. Um, and again, this is an example, right? This is a tax landing page with an HVAC form, right? You're going to want to make sure those are aligned. But I just wanted to kind of give a basic idea on how to do this and how to manipulate it. And, you know, Trepetto is cool because you don't just have to do um, this type of um, long form, right? You can do a short form, right? You can consolidate this into three or four questions, right? Not, you know, um, the survey type. You can you can do so many different types of things with this. Um, so yeah, you know, that's just a really, you know, quick rundown on how to build a landing page that converts for lead generation campaigns. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and comment. Um, I'm going to be doing a few more uh, landing page uh, videos that give you a deeper dive, right, on how to build them. Um, but also we're going to touch on our, land, our lead our lead forms and really, you know, from soup to nuts, how to, how to run a campaign that converts. Um, so yeah, thank you so much and we'll see you guys on the next one.